Hello you buggers, I'm in the middle of a field to do a demonstration or what may be considered a instructional video uh, trying to simplify explanations of Einstein's special relativity and how it affects us on this globe. Uh, there's a, a few th concepts that don't seem to be able to get into uh, flat earthers heads. Hello doggy. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go and let's go and visit the Earth. Let's go and visit the globe. Hello and welcome to the Earth, the round, almost spherical Earth. Um, now I'm standing at the top of the Earth at the minute. Uh, you may consider it the North Pole if you like. If you want to think it that way, fine. I'm just standing on the top. Uh, gravity is pulling me down. The gravity is the force that pulls one mass to another mass. Any mass has a gravitational effect on another mass. Obviously a small mass will not affect a big mass as much as a big mass affected a small mass. Now apart from my uh, floating belly, I'm considered a small mass on this planet. Therefore the planet has a much greater effect on uh, on me than I do on it. Uh, I'm just not going to affect it. I mean, I probably do, but so infinitesimally, I don't think it would be possible to cal calculate it. Uh, see, I, <laughs> I won't start talking about uh, you know if, if all the population in China jumped at the same time. Let's not go there. <laughs> Let's not go there with that thought experiment. Anyway, look, I'm on the Earth. Um, and uh, yeah, and well, I can travel all the way around the Earth. I can. I'm now at the South Pole. And uh, continuing around, back to where I'm started from. Now, what we're going to start doing here is we're going to start the Earth spinning. Around it goes. Look, I'm still standing on the surface. I'm not falling off. Uh, the Earth is spinning around. Uh, the, the Earth was formed spinning around. Where all the mass accreted, gathered together uh, to create the Earth. And all the, <laughs> the atmosphere and everything was created spinning. So everything, everything is spinning. The, the, the air around me is spinning at the same speed as the Earth. Uh, I can't sense anything. I mean, I can feel uh, a small breeze, um, but relativistically, should we try that word again, <laughs> children? Relativistically, no, let's not bother. <laughs> everything is moving in the relative speed. So everything is spinning with the Earth. Uh, now, one of the concepts that flat earthers seem to find difficulty uh, getting their head, head round is the fact that uh, when aircraft fly, it's not quicker for them to fly in one direction than it is the other. And we will prove this because I'm now going to fly as an aeroplane in one direction to the South Pole and you can see how long it takes me so you know I'll just walk around here I'm now flying to the South Pole and I'm here at the South Pole now if I fly back again you see it takes well pretty much exactly the same time because I'm moving at a relative speed to the earth Now, what happens if you jump? Now, flat earthers think that if you jump, you're going to land in a different place. So, so I jump, I land in exactly the same place. Because I'm moving with the earth. I'm not stationary, I'm moving with the earth. So as I jump, 
my velocity is already travelling in that direction, therefore I end up landing in the same place. Obviously if I jump left or right, that's different because I'm exerting a force, uh, a velocity in one direction. Again, it's all relativistic. <laughs> relativistic. <sighs> I should have really got my, uh, my tongue around that word before I came out really, shouldn't I? Uh, so, so gravity, how does that work? Uh, well, we've got a test subject here. Call him Neil Armstrong, shall we? And, and he's going to do a little experiment for you. He's going to fall to the earth. No harm done. He fell down in a straight line, directly straight towards the centre of the earth, because that's the centre point of where the gravitational force of the earth is, basically. I mean, I come round to the south pole. Now, now I'm upside down. And uh, so if I let go of him, flat earthers think, well, I'm pointing in the wrong direction now, so he's going to fall that way. But he didn't, because he fell to the centre of the earth. Gravity was pulling him in. That was the force. <sighs> I'll throw him over the earth. Hey. <sighs> so water. Uh, again, same principle. Water, although it's got some force coming out, but let's do it this way, directly towards the camera. It's going straight down. Gravity is pulling it down. It pulls it down wherever you are on the Earth. Always pulls towards the centre of the Earth. And you can throw that across the poles too. I'm going back north. I feel a little bit uncomfortable down here. I'll tell you one thing that, about gravity. <laughs> I'm glad I've got a belt on because my trousers are wanting to be pulled down by the force of gravity. So there you have it, a rudimentary demonstration of the uh, special law of uh, relativity, or the law of special relativity, or the relative, relative special law. Or the relativistic law. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> There's a simple demonstration. Now, now, ironically, uh, that was that was fairly easy just to just to explain that. Uh, it wasn't really very hard. Um, ironically, the uh, flat earthers don't have anything as simple as that to explain what they believe is ha happening uh, in the the flat Earth model. The, their physics seems to be. Uh, pretty much, shall we say, up in the air. Anyway, till next time you buggers, bye for now.